Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the RimWorld. Now, we have, as always, we are picking up where we left off. And we, people seem to, let's have a quick look at our guys. So, start with Lucky. Yeah, looks like people are happier now. Looks like the uh, the whole community joy thing is actually getting people maxed out on joy. So as a result, um, because I'm evil, I'm going to give them an hour less. So um, anything, I'll well, give them two hours of anything. So if their joy does dip down, they can get some more joy and then to work. And of course, if they have the time to do so, they can do a little bit of joy in the evening. That should keep them going. We are now in spring. The uh, the days are warming up. This is going to be good for us because this is going to cut down the amount of power we're being used. But we are in a power surplus at this point, to be honest with you. We're starting to work on the sleeping quarters and the outer shell is being built, which is great. But once that is done, I think I want to divert my attention to the freezer situation because the freezer is full and we are still producing a lot of food. I don't want any of it to go to waste, which it is here. Um, so, though admittedly this room is deliberately kept cool, but it's still not a good condition. So we are going to start working on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark these for deconstruction. And then immediately we'll just put them back in the other way around. And what we need to do then is build a wall around the edge. Oh, and of course, just to destroy this one. So, get those done. In fact, to be totally honest with you, let's put the uh, the wall order in as well. I think we're doing slate still. So let's get some of this built like that. What are we doing for slate? Yeah, we still got plenty of slate blocks. Oh, early morning beer. How nice. So we'll knock a hole in these. This is going to make people complain about it being cold in here for a little bit, but I don't think that's going to be the end of the world just yet. We watch the temperature. At least. Now, this is now considered outdoors, but it's spring, so it's warming up, so it won't get too cold and people will be all right. These walls are nearly built. Yeah, Davis is getting plenty of building practice in here. And once that is done, getting this will be good. But uh, as you can see here, in the meantime, we are getting lots and lots of food, which they're storing in here, which is the wrong room for it. Yeah, that's looking good. I think that will be done tomorrow, and then, oh no, they started on this one now, which is fantastic. In fact, temperature... Um, so, is it temperature? Get one of these. I've been playing The Sims, which uses a different key to rotate, and it always gets me. So we do that, and then we will put one there, and that will serve to heat this hallway, rather than just bunging the, the temperature outside. I think, to be totally honest with you, I think actually, to be totally honest with you, that's not going to be good enough. So let's let's think about this a little bit. So let's cancel these. I have reasons for this. I think what I'm going to do is, once this wall is built, we will get, well let's do it now anyway, the wall in like that. Okay, so this will be the refrigerator and this will be part of the kitchen. So, let's get that deconstructed. And that's going to give us a larger kitchen area. I think that's going to be alright. Okay. And then we can move this table over here, put a nice floor in, and that will give us room to put the uh, the vents out here. The vents out here mean we can use less heating here. In fact, we can start piping the heating from here into the living quarters, and that will do nicely. Go. Yeah, that's being built quite nicely. Davis is working really hard on this, which is great. 
food situation is fine because of all that uh, warg meat and we've got a load of venison floating around as well or have we just eaten all that um hey it might have been eaten already never mind still got loads of food and once that's once that meat is gone we'll go on to a veggie diet i think because this is more than accomplishing our dietary needs really isn't it uh, that's looking good a quick look at the base that's nearly done and that's one two three four that's six rooms we only have five people at the moment but once that's built we can always just build another one over here and go on if this design works of course I have no idea if it will but we shall see cold snap watch out for hypothermia which hopefully won't be a problem soon because just dropping it on the floor here now aren't they? Is that part of the... It's not part of the stockpile is it? No they just get here and think oh I can't I can't think of it. Well, I'm supposed to leave it here I can't put it down anywhere. Right. There we go. Um, that we... yeah okay will heat target temperature 21 yeah that's good okay so that will suck heat out into here and that will contribute to the temperature well, at least it would if there was temp any decent temperature out here there isn't but as soon as this is finished there will be and that will start working fine that'll do it right Ben is making clothes. That's good. Davis is making a sculpture. Which is fantastic. Where's the sculpture gone? Oh no, it's still there. A lot of work left. Okay, it won't be it'll be a long time before Davis finishes that one off. Why have we stopped working? Have we run out? Oh, yes, we have. We've run out of slate, so let's cancel this. Um, structure. Cancel this. And this. And we will make that in limestone. We're going to end up with a really piebald building here, but I don't think it really matters. The important thing is this, this just gets built. And actually, do the same here. And put a limestone wall in down to there. There we go. Wondered why Davis was building a, a sculpture instead of building a wall. Now I know why. There, good. That means that this place should start warming up fairly soon. Indoors, 13. Yeah, it's slowly starting to heat up. Temperature in here. Yeah, that's good. Right, this is warming up. And now that's done, this should rapidly... Wa yeah, there we go. That's per working perfectly. Right, so... Let's get some coolers in here. So we want one, two, like that. And once they're been installed, we will remove this wall and expand the zone. Yeah, that was quick. Do we have any power there? That will help. Okay, and now that's there. Deconstruct this wall. And when that's done, we'll expand the, growing, uh, the, the storage zone. And there we go, we've got a bigger kitchen, and we've got a bigger refrigerator. And I think it's time we started working on this, this kitchen area, because it just it just needs to be nicer which I think is what we'll do for the rest of the episode. Let's say uh, everyone's having a good rest, a well-deserved sleep. Gonna be glad to get rid of this room, I think. Uh, everyone's sitting around having a beer in the morning. Uh, good work, guys. 
There we go. And now zone. Expand that out there and expand that out there. And we've got a nice big um, freezer area. And I think, to be totally honest with you, let's stick a door in there as well. So steel door and we'll pop it say there that just stop people going all the way around here they can just go like this it's a bit quicker and there that looks good and all that food is getting hauled through it won't be wasted anymore oh that's marvelous and now we can start thinking about in here and i think the first thing we'll do is Get a standing lamp. Put that up there. We get this deconstructed, and we will build. What is it? Stone brewery. There we go. We put that down there. That's out of the way, and then we can move this table and that over and make it be nicer. And we'll put a bit of flooring in. In fact, let's do the flooring now. Okay, so have a little bit of wood, we could use that, but we have carpet which uses cloth. Where are we going for cloth? That's in thread. We should have plenty of cloth. Work here, her, that's not what we want. Oh, there we go. 299 cloth. This is a blue carpet. No particular reason other than let's have a blue carpet. So 8 times 11 is 88. That will do. Okay. I was wondering what was going to happen. We haven't had one of those for a while. Alright, if we lost any power cables. Yes, we have, so let's get those rebuilt. But other than that, that's not really a problem. And we're building up power nice and quickly again as well. Ah! It's been a while since we've been attacked. So, usual thing lots of tribes people, not much in the way of quality gear. Uh, Security. Let's get a turret built down here. And Davis, I think you are the person who is going to do this, so work on this turret. You can just drop that there. Work on the turret. Grabbing some steel. No, I'm sorry, we need this, so you're gonna have to go without sleep, I'm afraid. There we go. A working turret. Our defenses have doubled. And in the morning, when we get attacked, as we inevitably will, we will have a lot of help. We do have the resources. We have lots and lots of stuff. There they go. So everybody, sorry Ben, you can't have your cup of coffee in the morning. We need you down here. Let's make sure everybody has a weapon. Are there any better weapons in storage? No. Right, holiday is indoors as usual. Lucky, I think I want you let's put you there, so you'll probably be a bit more covered there. And Ben, need you to go there. That way you're not shooting through people. Where there they can come? Here come the tribes people. I'd like it if they came down here a bit more, but still. They concentrate on the turrets as they always do, which makes them actually fairly easy for us to take out. Oh, 
survive. Good, we got to survive a holiday. Don't know what you're doing, but I want you to capture a combo. There we go, excellent work. Actually, want to think about it. Top of the power on those. Brand is hurt. Hold this needs rescue. How are we doing for people? Davis, go rescue Brant. The interesting thing here is that the, the, the great bows actually outrange the turrets. They're fleeing. Excellent. We've done the job, and for once, we haven't actually lost a turret. This has got to be a first. Right, prisoner. Dredge and difficulty 70, so that's not bad. Pretty shot up, but I think he'll survive. And it annoys me that they keep on putting them on the floor here. In fact, let's do something about this. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. And holiday, actually. Can we assign? No, we can't assign. All right, I don't know what's. Going on. I think I might have made a mistake there, but we shall see. Okay, undraft you guys. Lucky you're going to need to do some treating. So Ben, let's get these people stripped. Flea is once again fleeing. <laughs> he doesn't know when to take a hint. That guy does he? Alright, so strip this guy, Davis, undraft, you, you need to get into the next bed, Lucky is on his way to treat you guys. Holiday, strip Val, Ben, strip Rhino. Uh, let's get this stuff committed. There we go. Oh, this one. Get that hold. That's a good knight. That's a good rifle. So, yeah. Why don't you equip that? Didn't mean to do that, but why not? Okay, and now pull that pump shotgun so it doesn't get left outside and damaged. All right. Lucky's treating our guys, treated well. Good sign. I think I might have made a mistake with him. We shall see. Alright, uh, we can still warden him. Alright, what are we gonna do with him then? Okay, so let's try to chat and recruit. Um, and we've got plenty of medicine, so let's give him medicine. There we go. Lucky is yeah, he's tending to wounded prisoner. Got him in a bed, that's good. There we go. Right. And cremation is happening. Okay. Let's see what state these guys are in. Um it's torso he's still bleeding. That's no good. Alright, okay, so, oh, we, oh, right, okay, it was my fault. I stopped him in mid treatment. So, combo. Chat and recruit. There we go, made a decision. Alright. Yep, cremation is happening. This stuff is being hauled. At least the stuff that I've allowed is being hauled. We have a new freezer. I think it's time to start thinking about this area, isn't it? So let's start working on that structure. So, and 
like that. And we shall have yeah, steel door. We have actually no. Let's have a wood door. Like that. And we want vents. There, there, there. There. That's not working. And there at least. Um, cancel that one, cancel that one. And the vents will go there and there. And then once that's done, actually we can do that bit as well. We have a limestone wall down there, which we're going to need anyway. And then we can put a power conduit up that wall. Like that. And then we can start putting heaters in the middle here. Which we would do what... Oh, actually it's indoors anyway, so let's... I'm thinking one, two, three, four to start off with. If four can heat six rooms nicely, then that's come easy. Cargo pods. That's not much meat for that location. Pirate merchant. Okay, we can do a pirate merchant. Lucky, where are you, my boy? Okay, so you're hauling to the dumping stock pile. I think this is more important. Dire, I be calling the pirate merchant. <laughs> right. Get rid of these. Uh, keep the shotgun. Um, we could sell combo. It's a possibility. Um, right, Jack the soldier. Good at melee, very good at construction, a fast walker, a brawler. I don't particularly like brawlers. Uh, it's not really in a good condition. Okay. Uh, Christian the Undertaker. Industrialist, a pessimist, and heat tolerant. Heat tolerant is going to help us during the summer. Pessimist is a little bit annoying, but he works fast. I like this guy. I'm capable of violent, unfortunately, but that's not the end of the world. And a bite scar. Oh, it's only 93%. And a little bit of full torso damage. I think Christian might work. But let's have a look at Gorilla. Who does my shooting? Really likes growing. He's a masochist. Which means. It's getting hurt. Trigger happy, which means he's a bad shot. Neurotic, which means he breaks faster, but he moves faster. And he's in a good condition, so he's a possibility as well. I don't know why I'm looking. I can't afford them. Oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose I could sell combo, and I've never been too keen on combo. But I also don't like slavery, so we're just going to leave it there. Okay. I might just get rid of some of these these clubs. Can actually, can I? No, I can only burn apparel. Okay, never mind. I might just take them out and dump them at this rate. Eh. Yeah. That's starting to look a bit nicer. Still got plenty of meat, so uh our meals are fine meals, and it does actually seem to be reflected in people being happier. This is the gathering place. Yes, this is the gather spot. This one. Let's make that not the gather spot. There we go. So we're working on combo. Okay, he's a little pain, feeling bad, imprisoned. He's, he's cheering up, though. Yeah, we'll get him. We will get him, I think. Yep. Alright, and I think to be totally honest with you, that is an episode. We've done things, we've survived things, and yeah, I think we're doing pretty well, to be totally honest with you. 
next episode let's get these these rooms finished and then we can perhaps dismantle the dormitory perhaps make it into a hospital which wouldn't be bad at all though i think at the moment we only need that side so i'll have to think there's something else for that uh, we recovered from the fire and we're getting our energy back we still got loads and loads of food all in all i think we're doing pretty well so until the next time especially seeing as i've just jinxed it i've been simon parsons this has been the Room World. Thank you, and good night.